from here, and you come elbow up, watch. See? Yeah. Easy deflection, because now you just bring this up. Yeah. Boom, see? But, but if you don't see it, it's hard. now you gotta bring your head in, or stop. So that every knuckle gives you a different angle of punching. <clears throat> so it depends on how he's punching. But see, I can nullify a lot of his power by just stepping in like I did. Not a problem. I don't know how to use it. Yeah. Plus I can muffle you by just tracking you where you're going. Oh, we have the chest punch the same way, that do the same elbow? Yeah. Now, I'll show you something. I'll show you a trick. This is what I used to, and it's almost like the, um, when I used to box. I used to put my, my uh, back. body back into the ropes. The ropes gives you, go. it's like almost like the, the rope adult. And it's great because the loose of the rope you can move. But as I'm in a martial art, come here, Tom. I used to put one feet here, okay, and then work with guys like Tom over here. And he could do whatever he wants, and all I'm doing is going to rock back and forth. That's a good reactionary way of not going all the way back, and you're fighting everything into this point. So if you hit the fridge, that means you're, that's your stopping point? Yeah, that's my stopping point. That's all I'm going to go. And he can come in whatever he wants to do. You see, and that's a training that I used to do. So Tom can move around here, he can come in, and he can start body punching me, hit me to the head, and all I'm going to do is counter him left and right. And don't move. And, and not move as much as I, I need to. So come in, I'll show you how to do it. You come in. The front foot can move. Front foot. <laughs> <laughs> His back feet is still on there. Right? Yeah, I know. I'm watching it. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's a training you want to do. Okay. It's kind of rocky. See? That's a reactionary stuff. Fine. And that's what you do when you. Uh, do with your, with your, uh, with your student because he thinks you're gonna go back. You make him commit because now you're not going after him now. Okay. So he's gonna commit. Wait, I'm my back against the wall. Come on. That gives you a psychological hesitancy. Then you don't have to be frustrated about him running. Then you can work on hits. Rocking, hit, hit, covering. You see how you come to the body, how I, huh? Let you come to the. Uh, you, the more you come in, the more I'm gonna rock you out. Now Al used to put up against, put us against the wall, so we don't run away. This is more me to get him into a position where I can capitalize, where he's gonna start. Saying, well, he, hey, I'm coming in. That's all right. You come in. But so I want you. But both of you get to work, though. Yes. You got to work. I got to work. So, so I'm, I'm backing up here. Wham. 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 See? So I'm working back and forth. You see? So I'm here. I'm, I'm working. Then if I was the better shape, the much better shape, then I do. A lot more other things, <laughs> you know. But while you're, yeah, yeah. See, then, but I'm not in good. I'm not in great shape right now, you know. But I haven't worked out in a long time, so this is. I'm all rusty, but I know technique well enough that I overcome a lot of the younger boys' things. See, that's technique, that's shape, and I can conserve energy more than he can. I'll puff, puff, and puff. <clears throat> He'll huff and put more, just by putting him through the paces. But we 
That's what you got to work on. Okay, now, you said you have a problem coming in. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Well, what is the problem? Give me a, a The problem is, like say, like, say you pat, and then you punch, yeah. and, I'll, and I'll pat you. Punch and then, then I'm, that's when I move in, because I just try to, I try to draw. I'm doing here. Boom. Then come here. See how body punches is the easiest punch and the safest punches to be in. For you, you mean? For you too. I mean, you mean deliver well, more fuck yeah, the guy's got to go. Maybe, maybe I'm headhunting too much. Yeah, stuff. because yeah, because that's what I'm trying to tell you. You're gonna fight guys that's that big, and a lot of times you're gonna reach for his fucking head. Yeah. Why? No, what's the adage? Beat the body and the head would fall. Yeah. Okay, this is what you want to do. You hit the head, the body will follow. That's right. But the problem is, your arsenal is not that reachable for this head to be chopped off with. And we're gonna go over here. Remember, you told me how to use. Two yeah, but you up. got. Yeah, but you got. Yeah, that's fine. But you're asking me why you're getting hit. But I'm not really getting hit with power. Just get more like when it. It's annoyance. Yeah. It's well, fine. Annoying. I'm not hitting you with power, but it's annoying for you. Yeah. That's why it, then I can hit you with power. It's turning your head around, jabbing in the power. Jabbing, jabbing is an annoyance. It's just more of a stiff jab where yeah. you walk in. Yeah, right yeah. sometimes it. if you're strong enough, you can knock the guy out. You know. But it's annoyance. Yeah. It gets you frustrated. Exactly. Just like when you come in, you're frustrated because the guy hits you. Damn, now your train of thought is gone. Now he beats you 50% of the time because now you're angry. Because you didn't follow. Well, why did he hit me? Nobody likes to be hit. Not even a champion likes to be hit. But he got to. He got to. He's got to deal with the hit. You know how bad Tyson looked. Ooh, you're in shit. Next thing that one punch is the greatest thing since cereal. Well, don't you think he was frustrated? Oh yeah, he's yeah, definitely he frustrated. Definitely him and oh yeah. Stuff, yeah, because he's trying to get both out of his game plan. Get him angry. That's what that's what Holyfield did to damn uh, Tyson. Get him out of his game plan. That's why he got frustrated, elbowed him, and uh, elbowed Tyson and everything. Got it. He roughed Tyson up the first fight. That's why Tyson said, "You do that again, I'm gonna get you." And, Ty and he did it again. So Tyson bit him. Got him out of his game plan. I get you out of your game plan. Hey, you can say I pity pat all day long. That's fine. You haven't hit me. Now I'm gonna come and cook the grass. I'm getting you out of your game plan. And that's the thing that I want to do. It's not what I want. I'm gonna do any way it'll beat you. I'm gonna use any tactics to beat you. So if I'm over here and I do this, I'm getting you out of your game plan. See? Getting out of your game plan. See, now you say, ooh, that's fast, but I can go faster. Then they really get you out of your game plan. You see? So that's what you want to do. You get them into a slow, medium, fast. <laughs> see? You vary the speeds. That's right. right. That's right. Let's say I get you real fast. Watch this. Block this, okay? Yeah. Fast. Fast. <laughs> See how you tangle? See how you tangle? My right hand's gonna come. Uh, you see what I did to lower you? Look at it. <laughs> you just kind of worked it down. Yeah, right? see? So there's always deceptive move what you want to do. <laughs> because my right hand's gonna get you. here. Nothing you can do because you're following me. And 
defense for that is not to get caught up in that. No, defense is that if you don't, he's going to hit you with something else. But not defense, not to get mentally the defense up. on that is that you should rapid fire back. So, so as a pass should be hitting oh, you back. Oh, sure. Right? Why not? Yeah, because that gets me my, out of my game plan. Okay. You see, if I'm blocking you just a little bit, I'm going to hit you back. Get you out of your game plan. Get you out of your game plan. See? I get you out of your game plan. See? Get you out of your game plan. See? See what I mean? I get you out. And look how I'm moving here. <laughs> get you out of your game plan. You rush me, I'll spin on you too. You see? So it's not helpful. Yeah, because sometimes I'm going to even do this. I get you out of your game. You come in on me. See? Get you out of your game plan. I'm going to throw something on you. See? Game plan. Because here, if you're here, and you turn around and I, wham! I got you out of your game. Look at where am I at? <laughs> Thank you. That's my favorite. <clears throat> the first instinct was hit, and I didn't even do nothing. I was ready to fire. Yeah. Yeah, see? You gotta do. Don't think of boxing, because that's where the boxer gets you in his own game. You never fight the man's game. That's why those karate guys put on the gloves and act like they're going to do that. The guy knows how to do this. That's his game. If you want to say, okay, no punches, no gloves, we'll go feet. The boxer says, it's not fair, because that's what I know. But a fucking stupid martial artist goes, uh, okay, you put on the gloves, we'll go. And he starts to box with the guy. You get killed. It's just like telling the boxer, no gloves, we're going to squirrel with legs. He's smart enough to say, uh-uh, that's not my game. Because he knows how to fight. Martial artist thinks about it. And he goes, boxing, yeah, let's spar. Me and you. Come on, put the gloves on. Shit. You're dead. You're dead. They kill you. Just like if I put on the gloves with the, uh, with the guy. You know, he's boxing for a while. I'm dead. I'm dead, because I can't box with him. I'm too old. Fight with him? You bet. Spar with him? You bet, on my terms. You come to challenge me? You bet. You're going to do it. I want you to spar this. That's why Junior and them used to bring boxers over here. He goes, damn, Ted, you just make him look like a fool. You bet. I'm going to stand